what is the design program currently taking the world by storm and why is it a hundred times better than Canva? Let's see why so many Fortune 500 companies are relying on Visme in this full tutorial so you can level up your digital marketing and social media designs for your online business. Okay, so I love Visme's platform. It looks good. It feels good to use. It's easy to navigate. And as a busy content creator, I'm always looking for ways to streamline and improve my workflow. And social media content, website design, and other digital marketing efforts like making lead magnets, for example, can become very time consuming really quickly. So when I discovered Bizme and their massive library of features targeted directly towards businesses, freelancers, and content creators, I was really excited to be able to share this with you guys. So we're going to dig into some of the features that I personally have found the most helpful for digital marketing, social media, and other their design needs. And then I will let you have fun discovering all the other magical ways that Visme makes life easier as a small business owner. Because Visme truly is a one-stop solution for a variety of design needs from templates, form builders, and even project management tools. So the first thing you need to do is sign up for Visme. So it's super easy to sign up. You can use your email, Gmail, Facebook, etc. And all you got to do is type your name, email address, and password in here. Make sure your password is something that people can't hack into easily, of course, and click register. Once you click register, they're going to send you a code so that you can prove that you are you. So you're going to jump over to your email and grab that access code and then just paste it right here and click done. If you want to choose how you heard about Visme, you can, but you don't have to. Click let's go and it's going to ask a couple of questions about how you use Visme. This really doesn't make much of a difference in terms of actually using Visme, but it does help them to generate designs for you based on what they think is going to be the most helpful. And of course, once you sign up, you have full access to all of their content library. Mm, yes. Now, one of the most powerful features that really sealed the deal for me for using Visme on top, of course, of their many AI powered features is their branded templates. So this goes really far beyond what Canva or any other design competitor can do. And it actually integrates your branding into countless templates for all of your social media, marketing materials, website designs, and other graphic design needs. So let's walk briefly through this process here. It's actually very quick and simple to set it up. And then you can see all the beautiful templates that it generates with my specific branding incorporated. So to begin, you can simply enter your website URL and click go. And what this is going to do is walk you through a little brand wizard and their AI tool is going to literally scan my website and find my branding elements for me. I really don't have to do anything at all. If I don't have a website quite yet, or I'm in the process of making a website, you can also just upload your logo directly. You don't have to type in your URL, but since I have my website, it automatically imports my logo and I can just choose the one that I like off of my site and click next. Now this is super smart and it already detected that I have seven different fonts on my website. And let me just tell you that is not intentional. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a rebrand of my website. So some of these fonts have not quite been updated, but that's the beautiful thing about Visme is it lets you choose which ones you want to add to your brand kit. So that's just fantastic and it makes it super easy. So I'm gonna choose Meriwether and Montserrat and I'm going to choose Helvetica. Now that I've added those to my brand template, notice it gives me this little tip, which is really helpful. I'm going to go to the next step, which is choosing my colors. Now it already pulled some of the colors from my website, but remember I said I was in the middle of a rebrand and this is not one of my brand colors at all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click the ones that I want to add, and then it's missing a color. So I'm going to go ahead and add that color in manually here. Now you can use the color picker. You can type in the hex code. You can even use these little sliders here, 
or you can extract a color from your image and logo. So I'm just going to upload my logo here and I'm going to pull the colors right out of my logo. And pretty much that's good. So I'm going to go to the next step here. And that's all I needed to do. It's literally working on my branded templates right now. So I'm going to click go to my branded templates. And when I scroll through here, it literally has my brand colors put into all of these beautiful templates that are already created to be high converting templates. So if you're creating a lead magnet, it's going to be already designed to get more clicks, get more conversions. If you are creating an infographic, for example, it's going to be visually appealing already. If you are going to make a social media post, keep in mind that the first thing it's going to pop up is the big ones like Instagram and Facebook, but they also have Twitter, they have YouTube channel art, they have LinkedIn. LinkedIn is huge for small business owners. There's all sorts of different things that you can do with your social media. And then of course there's fun things like printables and web graphics and so many more things. There's charts and graphs and of course documents if you want to make PDF files or Word docs or things like that. It can literally do everything you need. So this in itself really levels up your professionalism not to mention saving you so much time and energy and trying to create these designs and templates on your own because they are actually created for business professionals, freelancers, and small business owners. And that's because these are designed by graphic design professionals, whereas a lot of Canva templates are designed by fellow freelancers and aspiring graphic designers. But I do want to come back for a minute to the AI powered features that I mentioned before, now that we've talked about all the branding stuff. So Visme really levels up the concept of integrated AI because not only do they have the AI designer, which allows you to create amazing designs in a fraction of the time, but they also have a genius feature called the AI writer, which can actually help you craft the text for your designs. This is mind blowingly helpful because it's usually the content part that we struggle with the most, right? Like how exactly do we showcase our product or our service in a smart way that converts to sales? What do I say about my product? So with Visme, you can simply open up a template or you can start a template from scratch and then you can add elements or you can click on elements already in the design template if you used a template. And what's cool is this really does walk you through the main elements of what's important. But let's say that this is a welcome page for my Etsy starter guide, right? The first thing I'm going to do is clear out what it already has written because I don't want that. And then I'm going to hover over this little feather here and notice it says AI writer. If I click that, this menu pops up and it lets me really kind of define what I want to put in this text box here. So for example, it says, what would you like to write about? We're going to pretend that I am writing a welcome page for my Etsy starter guide. And I'm going to get a little bit more specific here. The Etsy starter guide is to help new Etsy sellers get started and build sales. Okay, that's pretty short, pretty sweet. It does give me some ideas if I'm stuck. And then you can choose the text length. Do you want it to be short, medium, or long? And then next you choose the tone. So you can say informal, formal, business, confident, creative, or simple. I'm a creative person, so I'm going to choose creative. And then I'm going to click generate. And let's see what it comes up with. So I am not going to say that I'm old, but I am getting to the phase of life where I need reading glasses. So I'm going to make this a little bigger for myself here. And it says, well, welcome to your Etsy starter guide. Let's turn your passion into profit and get those sales rolling in. Happy selling. And I love that. That is short. It's sweet. It's relevant. It's to the point. You can literally do that for any part of your document. If you're writing a whole entire ebook, you can even write a whole entire ebook. Let's go back to the AI writer here and we're going to add a little bit more instructions in here. Okay. And I'm going to tell it I want a long text link. I'm trying to be fast for you guys. So I'm just going to click generate here and we're going to see what it comes up with. Okay. And it did not disappoint. 
I said I wanted this to be big, but it does not all fit on the page. So let me see here. I'm just going to delete this and get it out of my way. Slide all this up. Notice this is all fast and easy to really just optimize this and make it look exactly how I want. And essentially what this says is, welcome to your Etsy starter guide. Starting your own Etsy store is an exciting journey that can lead to success. Here are 10 steps to get you started and build sales. And then it literally goes through 10 steps that they think would be the most relevant to starting a new Etsy store. I think this is awesome. This is actually not that different than what I wrote myself when I created my Etsy starter guide, which is coming soon. I'm pretty impressed. It doesn't sound like AI. It sounds well written and professional. Now I'm trying to go over these features in a fairly concise way because there really is so much to unpack and so many things that Visme can do. So please comment down below if there's things that you want to learn about or anything that you would like me to go over in detail. But we're going to move on really quickly because another cool feature that sets Visme apart is their forms feature. And they have really leveled up their forms with 3D animated characters. So if you come to their graphics library, which is already massive in itself, they have a lot of really cool things in their graphics library. And I'm going to delete all of this and get it out of my way here because I want to show you these 3D characters. Imagine bringing yourself to life as a fully 3D character. And if you've watched a lot of my Etsy or e-commerce videos, you probably know that I love Bitmojis. They are so cute and fun and I put my little Bitmojis throughout my videos all the time. So obviously I went a little bit googly eyed at this feature. So you can actually create your own character and we're just going to name this character Mini Jess. I'm a female. Uh, am I cool or am I sleek? I don't know. That's a good question. We'll go with cool. And I'm not super pale. We'll choose this one. I'm going to move myself over here. And this is where it gets fun. So I can choose my head shape. And there's all different types of hairstyles. We're going to go with this one. This one's probably the closest. Or maybe this one. Hmm. Decisions, decisions here. We'll go with this one. And the next thing is I don't have a beard. How about glasses? Uh, we're going to pretend I did not literally just make a comment about glasses. I'm not going to put glasses on my character. You can put a beer bong hat on your character. That's fun or a fedora, beanie, all these fun hats. We're going to skip the hats and I'm going to go to my outfit. That's where it's at. Clothes are always the fun part, right? We're going to go with the sweater, the mom sweater. We're rolling with the mom look. And I have my avatar. I have my 3D character. That's pretty darn cute. Okay, I love it. Now I'm going to go to poses so I can tell it what I want it to do. So do I want it to wave hello? Do I want it to be angry? Like, come on, man. Do I want it to make an announcement? That's cute. I like that. There's also professional ones. So you can be a consultant. That's too funny. I love the beanbag chair. You could be a designer. Totally chill. We're going to be a designer today. That sounds like fun. And I'm just going to save my character. Super easy. So that is really fun. And then, of course, there's all of these pre-made characters as well. So you can drop a second character in here if you want. Or you can use these characters as templates so you're not starting one from scratch. Lots of different options, and they really do bring your presentations to life. So imagine having a potential customer or a client sign up for one of your slide decks, and this cute little character is waving hello and making an announcement at them. That is really, really fun, and I love how Visme incorporated that. But they also have other 3D things as well. There's a lot of 3D graphics, which are just a little bit more sleek and stylish looking than the flat looks. There's 3D animations and they do actually have quite a bit of animations and little elements that move. And then there's also elements that move that are not 3D as well. There's a lot of different things that you can really do. You can create an avatar of yourself that is not 3D, which looks a little bit more like my Bitmojis would look. 
which is just so fun and I just love this feature and the fact that Visme has made it so easy to put into your forms like uh, signups for newsletter or lead magnets, landing pages, all those sort of things has really kind of changed the game for getting conversions and getting people to be more engaged and really entertained by your website and by your content. And I really, really love how simple they have made it to do that. And it's not just me that is loving this integration because Visme Forms actually have some pretty impressive stats. In fact, users who converted to using Visme saw up to 207% in improvement in conversion rates and they doubled their form submissions. They also reported between 100 to 210% more leads from organic traffic and saw additional feedback engagement after form completion rise by 32 up to 100% as well. And while your brain might have just fuzzed out at all of those numbers right now, essentially what that means is that when you use Visme Forms and you integrate these little 3D animations and characters, your conversion rates go through the roof. Now, the last thing I really want to show off for you in today's tutorial, and again, this is really just scratching the surface of what Visme can do, is that they also have data visualization tools video and GIF creation tools, and even integrate with third-party apps like MailChimp and HubSpot and SurveyMonkey, among many, many others. But to keep this video relevant to us freelancers, digital product creators, and digital marketers, I wanted to take a quick, quick second to go through their assets library because it really offers some unique features that I think are important to point out. So if we take a peek at their basics, you can see that they have a lot of different design blocks and they really just make everything super easy to drag and drop. There's also graphics, lots of graphics, and I already showed you some of these before, but there's shapes, there's infographics, there's lots of lines and arrows. And of course, because this is made for business professionals and freelancers, there are a lot of different icons. So you can choose animal icons, you can choose banners, you can choose business icons, and there's tons and tons of different things that you can choose from in order to make your presentation look exactly how you want it to look. And again, I already covered some of these before, like their 3Ds and their animated elements as well. You can also upload photos or use their massive library. They have a library of photos, GIFs, mockups, which are great for product mockups. There's phones, there's tablets, there's billboards, all kinds of fun stuff in here. There's also cutouts, which are basically just objects without a background, so you can use them directly on your presentation or your website or graphic. And then there's also videos lots of stock videos. You can also embed online content from any URL and so many, many more features. So again, if you have any questions about anything that I went over today or anything that you wanted to learn more about, please do drop me a comment or just say hello and give my day a sense of purpose knowing you're here and you're watching my videos. And then go sign up for Visme and check out all of their innovative and time-saving features for yourself. The link is down below and I will catch you in the next video.